What is up guys, it's your boy Paul here coming at you with another video today. Uh, look, today what I wanna talk to you guys about is you don't have to be a pro to get started, okay? Yes, eventually, do you wanna become a pro? Absolutely, you know, if you wanna have any authority in your field, if you want to, uh, you know, be an image for your industry, for whatever subject that you're teaching, yes. The goal is to eventually become a pro, but the point of today's message is you don't have to be a pro. So. Uh, why am I even saying this in the first place and, and who is this geared, geared towards? Well, the reason why I'm saying this in the first place is because so many people wait to get started on something because they're not a pro yet, right? AKA, they don't know enough yet, right? Um, AKA, they're waiting for perfection. So, I'm directing this message to newbies, to beginners, saying you do not have to be a pro uh, to get started and I don't think you should wait uh, to get started until you are one uh, by any means, okay? Uh, one of the things that I noticed within myself with the first business that I had, um, where I ended up after you know two and a half, three years, and where I began, and then how people always just looked at that three year mark, right? So I'll just give this little message. When I first um, had my landscaping business, man, I, I only cut my lawn ever, right? And like I cut a decent amount, but I didn't you know, know what it was to price. I didn't know what it was to bill people. I didn't know what it was to you know, have insurance and you know, do all this stuff and an actual business and um, what is an actual good cut you know, look like? What are the different types of grass? What is this you know, different types of plants? You know, what is all this stuff? You know, what would be the good bidding price for this, for this landscaping job versus just this lawn mowing service? You know, how do I cut this? How do I cut that? Look, there are so many things that I didn't know when I got started, but what did I know? I knew that I knew how to cut St. Augustine grass, which is what my parents had and it's what a lot of our neighbors had. So what did I do? I simply made 100 flyers and I handed them out. And so I was by no means a professional when I got started. But where did I end up in three years later doing 55 clients a week, you know, having a full system going you know, the, for the billing, for uh, my business, for you know, paying people, uh, for getting paid, uh, for how we cut, like was there a system for how we cut yards? Yes, there was. You know, was there a system for what a two-man crew looked like, what a three-man crew looked like? Was there a system for when we had a sodding job, you know, when we just had you know, a mulching job? I developed systems a lot in my third year. But when I began, hey, how's it going? My name is Paul. Uh, does this price you know, sound reasonable? Sure, I'll do it for this price. Okay, great. You know? And so I share that to say I became a professional over three years, right? Um, even my first two years in business looked significantly different from my third year in business. First year, it was just like, hey, cool, kind of just doing this little side money. Second year, it was like, okay, kind of getting known, but like still kind of just doing this for side money. Third year, I, I switched up, I looked at everything, and I switched up exactly how I did things. It was crazy. Because when I switched things up, I didn't land the next 18 or 19 calls. I forget however many it was. I was pretty consistently doing 50 to 60 percentile on those who I would give quotes to on getting the job. And I was like, wow, that's pretty good. And the second I switched up my system, I didn't land the next like 18 or 19 and I was like, w what is going on? Like, I am not this bad. I know I'm not. It must be the way I'm communicating because I'm actually giving a better deal now than I was before and yet I'm getting more no's. So what is, it, what is it going on in my language? After I switched it up, guess what? I went into the 90th percentile in my closing. Over the next uh, six or seven months, so from like February to uh, around like August-ish, I maybe didn't hit like three to five and I went from 15 to 55. So you can see how much, like that's 40, that's 40 people that I gained and I only missed like three to five, somewhere in that range. I got it down so well in my pitch and my message that it was almost a close rate, almost 100% of the time because of the confidence in which I portrayed and the challenges at which, you know, whenever, whenever I challenged the customers on a price point, um, on why they ended up going with me as well. But look, I say it to say, I learned how to be professional. I learned how to be professional. And it took me, you know, just over two years. It took me just over two years for the landscaping, you know? And now that I'm switching up, you know, where I'm going with my career and everything like that, um, look, by no means are you a professional when you start, but it's are you willing to start? 
That's the thing. Are you willing to start? Like I promise you these videos probably will change. I said I promised them probably. Okay, so there's a definitive and not a definitive. So look, these videos probably will change uh, a year from now. And if they don't, maybe two years from now. But look, right now I got a simple tripod, a little microphone, and no one. It's just me. Okay? So, but look, I'm just willing to start. I'm willing to start. I'm willing to put the message out there. Things aren't perfect. You know, you don't got a whole studio or anything like that. You know, um, I don't have all the lighting and, you know, all that stuff, but I'm willing to start. So that's the point. You don't need to be a pro. You just need to be willing to start and you need to be willing to learn. And you got to know each phase too. You got to know how to communicate yourself in each phase at which you're going. So you got to know what, what things to leverage when you're at each phase in the business, right? Whatever business you're in. So in the beginning stages, you know, there's a lot more um, emotional selling, right? There's a lot more emotional driven type selling, but the more experience you get, the more logical you get, right? So I got that from one of my mentors too, but it completely makes sense and it made sense uh, within my uh, landscaping business as well and it makes sense now. So now, like in the beginning stages, you should leverage all of who you're learning from. Leverage them, leverage them, leverage emotionally, uh, leverage what things could be, what they could look like if they took you on, you know, and you know, the more experience that you get, the more you just say, hey, look at the results that I got from my client, right? Or like for me and my landscaping, I could say, yes, like look at your neighbor's lawn. I've been doing that for three months after I took over from so-and-so, you saw what it was like before, you see what I'm doing now with the lawn, this is what it is per month, blah, 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 right? <coughs> and so you gotta know how to communicate uh, and portray yourself in each stage. And I've said this before in one of my other videos, but I absolutely love the beginning stage because man, the beginning stage, you're hustling, you're grinding. Um, and you do that too in the later stages. Um, but it's not, in my opinion, I, I always like it more when you're, uh, scrappy and you know, it, it, it's the underdog. I, I like, I like the underdog, uh, stuff because for me, it just, it just gets me going more. Um, rather than if you're established, I mean, it's just name brand. Like I'm telling you, by the time I had like 30 something clients, which still isn't even crazy uh, in the landscaping world, um, my name got out there a little bit more and some people just heard about me from referrals and uh, that's also another reason why, you know, people just kind of sign up like that because um, they hear about your credibility and all that stuff. But look, thing is, are you willing to start? You don't need to you know you don't need to be a professional in order to start, okay? And that and that's what I want to say to you. I want I I want this to be able to be something that gets you to start, okay? Look, take an hour a day, take 30 minutes a day to learn your craft even more, to practice, you know, your pitch, to practice whatever you need to practice, but take 30 to 60 minutes a day to do it. But when you're starting, just go out and introduce yourself to people. Just go out and meet people. Just network. Say, hey, this is what I'm doing. Uh, you know, I'm looking for people. Oh, you know, say, say you come across one of your ideal clients. You can talk about how you, maybe you could help them as well. You know, what are their goals? What are they looking for? Um, talk about how you could help them, you know, as well. You know, sometimes in the beginning, you got to trade, you know, doing some free work for a testimonial, right? Sometimes, sometimes you got to do that stuff, right? There's a, whole, there's a whole lot of different tactics that you can do um, for when you're getting started. Uh, to get yourself out there. But look, point of today's video, you don't need to be a pro to get started. And I want you guys to start. I want you to start on whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, whether you're teaching something, whether you're actually starting a business, whether you know, you're doing some art, whether you're doing a blog, what, whatever it is, um, I have no idea what it is, but whatever it is, you don't need to be a pro. Just start, okay? People, people a lot of times will support someone, uh, especially in the early stages, just to see them you know, be successful with the, whatever it is that they're trying to do. So um, look, let people know what it, is, what it is you're doing, what it is, where it is that you're trying to go, um, and you know, see who tags along, and always remember the people who helped you in the beginning. Always remember the people who helped you in the beginning, and look to uh, you know, pay them back in some way, shape, or form down the road. All right, so that's today's video. Look, if this video helped at all, uh, please leave it down in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love to hear where you're at with whatever goal it is that you're currently doing right now. Uh, look, if it helped, give it a, give it a thumbs up. You know, if, if you know anyone who could use this video, as always, share this with them uh, and stay tuned for the next video. Again, I'm coming out th with these videos very consistently now, uh, so stay tuned for the next video as well. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.